Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, I have been given many aptitude examination entrance exam including CAT, SAT, CET and MAT. I have aced almost all the examination that I have given. Now what is common in those exams is they are all aptitude examinations. And to ace them, there are few techniques and tricks that are required. So what this particular video is, is talks about those shortcut approaches that are required to ace the con section of the aptitude exam. So any exam. So you talk about CAT, you talk about ZAT, you talk about GMAT maybe, maybe the IPM BB entrance exam. They are all aptitude examination with a common thread of having mathematics in it or con section in it. And normally it is seen that if you are able to ace the con section, you tend to ace the overall exam. Your overall marks go very high and that helps you to perform better. So let's look at what I'm talking about. So this particular video or what I'm talking about is applicable for management entrance exam. So we're talking of shortcut approaches for like CAD, GMAT, ZAT, etc. Whatever entrance exam. For BB IPM entrance exams. Also for the banking exam and the government exams. They also have the aptitude test. So there also you have mathematics and the approaches that are discussed will obviously help you out there as well. So what we talk of approaches. Or any aptitude examination that has count as one of the sections, this approach will definitely help in terms of that. So what do you talk about shortcut approaches? So normally when you talk of shortcut approaches, it is normally the approaches that helps you to solve things faster. So correct approach that will help you to solve things faster. Now the approach should be such that it should be the applicable to number of sums. Now there are normally formulas which are applicable to one specific type of sums. They are normally not useful because then you have to use formulas for almost every type of sum. Approach is something which I understand the approach. I should be able to apply to any number of sums or number of sums. That helps. For example, using options, substituting values, approximation, etc. Right. So those are approaches that normally helps. And if you know the approaches, you tend to be able to ace almost all type of concepts. So normally what happens is approaches are usually simple to understand. They're not complicated. They're simple to understand and apply. Okay. But if you want to really apply it, you need to create a habit. Now what happens unfortunately is from right from school level, we have been taught to put a formula, to write the steps, etc. We are so used to that, that to break that habit, it takes time. So do the approaches, the shorter approaches are easy, but you will have to really practice it so that you can implement it, try to solve it. Now, students normally don't use shorter approaches because they're so used to traditional methods. It's very difficult to break habits. That doesn't mean it's not possible. I've seen so many students being able to use the approach. The point is you will have to practice on those. Also, my suggestion is when you're looking for approaches, don't look at too many sources because I mean, you go look at number of faculty. Each faculty has a different approach. And when you learn too many approach, you, be, you will be jack of all trades and master of none. If you want to really be good at applying a particular method, you need to be good at those methods. So in that case, focus on two or three sources of shortcut methods and try to be good at it. If you uh, focus on too many faculty, automatically you will be confused and that will not help you to master the approach. How to learn? So we will have shortcut approach sessions. I have a session tomorrow. I'll be having a live session on YouTube tomorrow at around 9.30 p.m on shortcut approaches. We'll, I'll take up a one particular shortcut approach and discuss it and look at how to apply it. I will talk about it. So my first live session will be tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. I will do this on a regular basis where I will try to uh, you know, look at a particular approach, discuss the approach and look at how to apply it for different kinds of sums. Simple approaches which usually everyone can understand but it will be applicable both from easy level to a difficult level sums. Okay. The session will be focused on understanding the approach and able to apply the approach to different kinds of sums. That's what the focus of session is, right? Now, where I've also recorded videos on my YouTube channel. So you can look at the approaches out there. My Road to 100 series are there. Uh, Road to JB series is there. Road to Canada is normally focused on CAT, but the approach will help you for the exam as well. Road to JB are normally simpler sums, which can be used for, you know, banking exam or any speed based exam. You can look at that. Then we have past CAT solutions and the video for shortcut approaches, which I'll be releasing shortly. So these are the places where you can maybe look at the approaches, learn from the question and maybe learn to apply the questions. It will take time, but the moment you'll be able to apply the approaches, you will be faster. Okay. We normally train for the various MB entrance exam, 
right from CAT, ZAT, NMAT, GMAT, IPM, BBA and we also train for the interview preparation and filling up the forms. So you can contact us on contact 9821314788 or at coin at coinacademy.com or look at this particular website. Thank you. So if you want to be there for the shortcut approach live session, be there and uh, join the uh, subscribe to our channel and we'll send you the link.